so today is day two of incubation it is um, it's about 9 30 at night so it's technically day two and a quarter I guess um, temperatures have been doing all right humidity has been a little bit high it looks like it's been up in the 50s um, I don't think I'm gonna do anything about that unless it gets up much higher than I and I'll try and figure that out um, if it really increases. The other thing I did was um, I just added a simple little 12 volt switch here with an LED that I, would, I put in one of the air holes um, just to give it a little bit of light in there so I can look at it when it's not heating and the light is not on. Um, that thermometer fell but I have left it. I'd rather do that than open it and I don't know if you can see this one but I can. It's sitting at 99.5, 99.3 the light is just clicked on, so we'll turn our little light off. So this is day two of incubation. Today is day three. Humidity is sitting between 48 and 50 percent, I believe. Temperature right about 99.5. That light should click on. <laughs> Look at that. No change or, or real updates. Much. Today is day four. So the humidity has risen some in there a little bit, uh, a little bit high, and the temperature it looks like has been holding pretty good. So we'll take a peek in here, let me turn on the light. So both those say 99.5, eggs look alright, things look good. Cool. All right, today is day five. Uh, temperature seems to be holding. Humidity is it's a little bit high, and it's been sitting that way since this morning. So I am going to open it up and remove uh, one of the small little water trays. So I'm going to try and go in here real quick. The pictures are looking good. Let's see, so I got two of these small water trays down here. I think what I'm going to do is just dump the smaller one into the bigger one and then take it out and that will cut down on surface area and should cut down on humidity. There we go, that temperature is dropping because I've had it open for a minute. So we're going to get it shut back up. Today is day five, everything seems good. Temperatures look like they're right on. Humidity's not too bad, so... Alright, let's keep going. Okay, alright, so I got it all closed back up. Um, we have that one tray removed. Humidity's you know, back down at 34 and climbing up, so I really want to sit about 45, that'd make me happy. Temperature got up pretty quick uh, to where it needs to be, so that is good. Of course, my green light lets me know my fans are still running. So tonight, uh, a little bit of the project is to actually finish up the lockdown box. So I'll show a quick video on, on the build. Uh, I'll put a video on the build later here, but for now, I'll just show it really quickly. What I still need to finish is I'm going to put the mesh on this door. This door is then going to be painted yellow. Uh, why red and yellow? Well, those are the two spray paint colors I have uh, here on hand, and I didn't want to buy more. Solo, you need to move. <laughs> and so this one's finished here, and the other side uh, will do the same. And that way the Myshire eggs are one batch eggs can go in here, the second batch can go in here, and I can differ differentiate on my paper which is which. So we'll finish up that, as well as uh, working on finishing up the brooder box I'm doing here. Um, so I'll have the build on this, but the uh, bottom tray pulls out, the um, oil pan goes under the bottom. Solo, 
you need to move. The uh, top part here actually slides back and it comes straight off too. This is to, to make it easy to store and whatnot as well as to clean. So the top part pops right off. It can be screwed on as well, but this uh, rooter box here is a two foot by three foot about, so it should hold 30 to 35 birds in there. And so I still need to install the side panel and top, as well as the lights. Um, but this this thing comes apart in one, the, the, the tray, so two, and then the, the pan, three, and this base is four pieces. So it pulls all apart, and so I'm going to have two of these brooder boxes.